currently on News 5. They are filthy, they are disgusting, and you definitely do not want them moving into your home. Now, we are infested with roaches, the whole neighborhood. Several blocks of homes, in fact, infested with cockroaches in the city of Illyria. Neighbors say they know exactly who's to blame here. It turns out all those roaches are coming from just two houses. News 5's Amanda Van Allen braved the infestation for us tonight. Amanda, yuck, how did it get this bad? Absolutely yuck, Rob. Well, neighbors tell me, like you said, it is coming from two separate homes and it has been going on in one of the homes for years. They say they never had any issues until the home was sprayed. Then the roaches started coming out, getting into their homes, and now they've shelled out hundreds of dollars to try to stop the problem. I killed seven of them. Yeah, it's like Ryan any other here. Friday night. Bill Konachak and his board. neighbors are talking on the They're front porch. Around. One of the girls come in to get her a drink. And she goes, Bill, there's another one on the sink. And so I'm in there smacking them with my hands, killing them. But this conversation is on one of frustration. On it's a shame that we have to live like this. But what else can you do? Because almost his entire block along West 12th Street in Elyria is infested with these nasty creatures. Roaches are coming from this condemned home in the middle of the block. Who wants to live like that? You know what I mean? Evidently them, but not us, not me. That's Wendy White. She lives next door to the home that was just condemned earlier this week for the infestation. She says she doesn't know why shutting it down took so long. We called every agency on them. We called the mayor's office, building inspectors, sanitation. So far, White and Konachek and lots of other neighbors have shelled out hundreds of dollars to keep the insects out of their homes. But they fear it's going to take something drastic to stop them. The house will probably end up getting torn down, which I'd rather see it burnt down because once they start tearing it down, where's them bad babies going? Now, the second home that is infested is on West 14th Street. Now, both the city of Elyria and the health department are investigating this, and they say the landlords are responsible for getting the bugs out, but no word yet on who is going to help neighbors pay their costs. We are live tonight in Elyria. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.